Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching a psychological horror film called Orphan. And if you haven't seen this horror movie, I really suggest you watch it if you like horror movies because hey, this one, yes, it's scary but it's not the same kind of scary that I've seen in like The Ring or It. So, Kate and John Coleman's marriage is strained after the stillbirth of their third child named Jessica, who has lost his particular heart on Kate, which is you normal for a family who right, lose a child during stillbirth. John and Kate decides to adopt a nine-year-old Russian girl named Esther from St. Mariana's home for girls, which is a local orphanage, while their five-year-old daughter, Max, embraces Esther. Their 12-year-old son, Daniel, is told towards her, which is normal for when you bring in a new child. And so then from the second day onwards, Kate becomes a little bit of sus a little suspicious of Esther when she expresses far more knowledge about sex than any child her age and Esther starts exhibiting hostile behavior in front of Max and Daniel such as killing an injured pigeon and badly injuring a classmate who was harshly bullying her. Sister Abigail, the head of the orphanage, visits the household warning Kate and John the tragic events and accidents always seem to be around Esther, including the house fire that killed her last adoptive parents. And to keep Sister Abigail from returning, Esther causes her death, her car crash on the road, and then bludgeons her to death with a hammer. And what is worse is that she forces Max to help her move the body, then hides the evidence in Daniel's treehouse. As Kate becomes further convinced about Esther's unusual behavior, John believes she is being paranoid and tells Esther to do something nice for Kate. Daniel then learns about Sister Abido's death from Max and searches the treehouse. Esther sets it on fire and attempts to kill him, but is thwarted by Max. And so towards the end, like, um, Kate learns that Esther has hypopituitarism, which is a rare hormonal disorder that stunted her physical growth and caused proportional dwarfism and she spent all her life posing as a little girl. Lena is her name. She is violent and has murdered at least seven people including the last family that adopted her. She is after failing to seduce her adoptive father, Lena removes the ribbon she was wearing around her, her wrist and neck, which had been hiding stars from trying to break out of straight jackets during her time at the asylum. Lena removes her disguise and stabs John to death. Kate rushes home and Lena attempts to shoot her, wounding her arm. After Lena opens fire on Max, 
Kate breaks through the roof above and lands on top of her, knocking her out. Kate and Max flee as police arrive and so then what I don't get is that so Lena then is killed by because um Kate um what kicked her hard enough to snap her neck. And now I don't get is how if she is dead, why, how are you going to re like make the second movie around the orphan? Because there is an orphan two coming out, so I'm a little bit confused. And left there with scars on the wrist and neck. <laughs> there is no way you could not have seen them. Why was she at your hospital? She's dangerously ill. Violent. He killed seven people that we know of. Oh my God! How could she fool us? She's been passing herself off as a little girl for most of her life. 